Hey guys, welcome back, lesson eight, and today we are talking all about fruit. Now I know you've been thinking, he barely mentioned fruit so far, and why is that? Hey, they've been blowing my head off too. Well, let's go through fruit today. Let's talk about it. One of my favorite things, eat a bit of fruit. So the benefits of fruit, well, fruit is high in antioxidants, which fight disease. Uh, vitamins, fiber, water, and what are called phytonutrients, which basically protect plants from illness and bugs. Um, and also, they, as a result, they make us healthier as well. So it protects the plant when the phytonutrients are in the plant, it stops the bugs being able to eat it. And as well, it makes us healthier and superhuman in nature. Not quite superhuman, but in my eyes, if I eat fruit, I become Superman. I like that thought. Okay, so they are great for us people who have a sweet tooth. So if you're a bit like me and you're a bit of a bugger for the chocolate and the sweets, fruit is a great transition to pull you away from the highly processed sugars that we can get in things like the biscuits and the chocolate and those kind of things as well. And obviously they make us healthier, which we already know. Um, the sugar is packed with fiber and water, which is going to slow down the absorption. So that is the difference between 10 grams of sugar in some fruit and 10 grams of sugar in some Haribo. So the fruit is really high in fiber, it's high in water concentration, it's got some bulk in it. So that 10 grams of sugar is gonna very, very slowly be released. Whereas the Haribo just boom, hits the system like a steam train, hits the blood, um, bloodstream like a steam train, and then sort of essentially can hurt the liver a little bit and, and it's very fast into the system, spikes the blood sugar levels, body then releases insulin, blood sugar levels drop very, very quickly. And then as a result, we store more body fat or we store it as glycogen in the muscles, but more like, more like, most likely with the Haribo, we're gonna store it as body fat. And as well, the fruit is nutrient dense. You're not gonna gorge down and eat 15 apples, but you will eat 15 digestive biscuits because your body has had enough nutrients. Thank you very much. Um, so we wanna limit, however, the amount of fruit that we eat to one to two servings of fruit a day because it is still high in sugar and it stops us from losing weight as rapidly so if weight loss is your goal eating gargantuan amounts of uh, fruit is not going to coincide with that goal it's definitely going to slow down the results however if you are coming off an atrocious diet of 15 digestives a day and, and 14 miles bars then have as much fruit as you want at first. It's looking at your level of nutrition, but keep in mind, if I want to maximize the weight loss and have rapid results, minimize it to one to two pieces of fruit a day. Um, if you exercise a ton, if you're a big exercise, I'm talking like intense exercise, intervals, compound lifts, squats, lunges, pushes, pulls, chin-ups, those kind of movements, then you could have a little bit more sugar, especially if you have more muscular bulk, because the consumption of the sugar, you can get away with more sugar when you have more muscle mass. For every pound of muscle you build, it's an extra 50 calories a day that you burn at rest. So increasing that lean muscle tissue allows you to have a faster metabolism. And at the same time as well, sugars um, are stored in glycogen within the muscles themselves. If you've got big muscles, um, the sugars that you consume are more likely to be stored in the muscle as stored energy known as glycogen, which is stored in the um, liver and in the muscles and brain as well. Um, if you exercise a ton, yeah, you can have a piece post-workout. So post-workout, again, we're sort of dispelling this myth to a certain extent now, but it's still there in some people. Post-workout, workout, you've got a better insulin response, consume your sugars post-workout in the form of some fruit. Your body will thank you. It'll help with that recovery process. It will replenish those glycogen stores within the muscles. If you want rapid fat loss results, I'm going on holiday in 12 weeks. I want to be ripped in that bikini. Just have one piece of fruit a day. Um, number two, leaner you are, the more fruit you can eat. Yeah, so if you're super lean, you've got less fat cells for the absorption. If I've got a ton of fat cells, then obviously my body will just give it to the fat cells, give it to the fat cells. If I'm a lean, mean machine, um, I can consume more fruit. So that is something to look forward to. And another incentive with regard to dieting and getting that lean body composition. Once you've got the lean body composition, it's easier to maintain lean body composition than it is to get down to a lean body composition. So you might have a more extreme diet to bring yourself down to a leaner physique, but once you get at that lean physique, it's easier to maintain that body composition. So keep that in mind if you're finding your diet tough at the moment, eventually it will pay back dividends and you can have a little bit more cod swallow every now and again. Um, and again, like I said before, the more muscle mass you have means you can afford more sugar because of the storage of the glycogen, because of the higher resting metabolic rate as well. Uh, eat whole fruit, please, please eat whole fruit. 
Do not consume your fruit through juices, regardless of what the juice master says. The juices and the dried fruit do not have enough fibre and bulk to support the slow absorption of the sugars. They will hit your body like a steam train. You'll have a spike and then you'll have a drop and you'll feel tired. And then when you're tired, you're more likely to go for the cod's wallet food instead. Um, and again, these um, dried fruits and dried juices, they have lots of carbohydrates in them, lots of calories, and you don't get the same satiety. You don't get that feeling of fullness after drinking the juice that you would with the fibrous, nutrient-dense, whole foods. What do we always say? The further we get away from nature, the sicker we become. So keep that food as close to its natural source as if you just plucked it off the tree as possible to optimize health, performance, and body composition. Eat a variety of whole fruits for full nutrient spectrum. So what did we say before about our vegetables? Eat the colors of the rainbow. Eat the colors of the fruit rainbow as well. Why? Because they all contain different vitamins and minerals and nutrients and have different benefits from consuming them. So let's just take a quick look at a few here. So the health benefits. So blueberries, for example, these guys obviously are purple. Uh, the high in antioxidants, fiber, vitamin C, and manganese. Strawberries, red, uh, once they've ripe, that is. Low sugar, low calorie, high in vitamin C, anti-inflammatory plant fennel properties. What we were saying about before, about those plant fennels making you superhuman in the plant. Basically, um, it protects it from bugs and disease. For us, it makes us superhuman. So that's pretty phenomenal, isn't it? Uh, grapefruit is high in vitamin A, B6, C, fiber, potassium, pantothenic acid, thiamine, magnesium, copper, antioxidants. You don't need to know what that means, but you need to know that grapefruit is phenomenal. I just wish I like the taste of it. It's rank. It's too sour for me. And I've not figured out a way to make that one taste nice yet. But if you guys know a way, drop me a line. I'll, I'll give it a shot. Uh, bananas, I eat tons of those. Vitamin C, B6, fiber, potassium, manganese, folate, magnesium, copper, antioxidants. So you can see you've got your purple, you've got your red, you've got your grapefruit, your orangey slash colory thing, and then you've got your yellow. So see the different colors there? They all have different nutrient properties, different vitamins, minerals, and everything else that go into it. So think of a full spectrum with regard to consuming your fruits. Uh, obviously a good reason to eat it again free fruits are really good for you definitely should have them in your diet one to two a day be aware of the types you're consuming lots of different types and also be aware of how much you consume of your fruit see you guys tomorrow for another lesson